what's happening. So on this one, we head to the spit yet again. Um, now I've been there probably about three times now. Probably noticed that I take a lot less photos than I normally usually, usually oh, fuck, than I normally do. Now it's mostly because I was trying to hunt for different compositions uh, other than the, the normal ones like this one that I normally take a lot of the times that I go there, but I kind of got bored of taking that many photos. As you can see, I got a new mic. Got the Joby Wavo Air, so um, I could use my 35 mil and sit my camera really far away, which is quite nice. But I didn't just buy it for that, obviously. I bought it to be able to do um, some more stuff where I can put it on a tripod when I'm outside. Anyway, of course, it's hella useful. Uh, I was gonna buy the Rode mic, but these were just hella cheap and they sounded pretty good, so Eh, it works. Now, before we get to the video, I do want to introduce a, a rating system for my videos. So one out of five means I just took the photo. That's it. Doesn't mean anything else. I just took it. Two out of five means it could have been good. Maybe the time of day was bad. Maybe the composition was a bit shitty. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. It has some elements that aren't really good. Three out of five means I'll probably post that on social media like Instagram. Four out of five, I'll probably post that on social media and put it on my website because I'm quite happy with it. And then five out of five means I'll probably end up making a print or putting it in a book or something like that because I like it that much. Now, in saying that, let's get to the B-roll. Feels like forever since I grabbed my camera. Let's try for a panning shot since Mark is getting 400 of them. I'm not, I don't think I'm shooting close enough. That's epic with the boats that are just cheering into that sun. Everyone's heading out. Did I get one? Oh, I kind of got Oh, so hard to get them. The so hard to get panning shots with boats. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because they bob up and down. They're a bit, they're a bit funny. You just gotta, you just gotta spray, basically. Oh, oh, look at the sun, it's about. Yeah, we've got a head. I'm about to come for the sun. Hey, shit. Oh. Yeah, everyone hear that? Yeah, that's fast, dude. Oh. I think I'm the only guy. Um, only crazy person with shorts on at the moment. Oh, Surely there's one other person wearing shorts. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Come on, you got the lost. 
Yeah, so we're shooting 2470. Oh, this would be nice. Oh, this is fucking perfect. Bro, look at this shit. Surf is going down. That's fucking epic. <laughs> this is the essence of the Gold Coast boys and girls. We have a winner there. There is a winner. There's a winner in that little batch. Yeah. Let's go, mate. Come stay out of your way. I wish I had a 16 mil. This would be perfect for that. Ah, oh, it stinks here. Dude, the reflection's wild. Look at it here.
Come on, doggies. Oh, the reflection. Oh, this, this shot's epic. Come on, get in there before the water comes in. Oh, I'm not getting my shoes wet like last time, bro. Oh, that's fucking epic. Oh my god. Dude. The reflection you get of people walking when they're up there. That's sick. It's a very minimalist. Yeah, I'm just wait I'm just gonna wait for the water to go back out again. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, nice. I want it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fuck mm -hmm. you with your long lens. Now, look at what's this? What's this? Yeah, I can use that. I got no clip on this one, though. So In the water in the sand. Oh, that's not the bird. Don't move. Oh, no, you get in the fuck. Oh, that the light is insane. That would be a good minimalistic shot, actually. I, I, just don't, I don't need anything but the light for this shot. I'm gonna like. Oh my god, I know what I'm going to do with that. The most minimalistic shot you could think of. Because the head is so bright. Yeah. I think I'm going to try oh, and get it wide. Oh gee, oh gee, no. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it, sir. Look at these textures on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in.
of the dog in the water. Oh, that's frame something up here. That would have been better. I might chuck 70 to 200 on at this time. This time for. I want a bike to go past. City skyline, baby. Welcome to the city of Slots, Gold Coast. What the dog doing? Oh, how good's that autofocus though? Now, let's review some photos. We're only gonna really review the photos that I quite like and I wanna talk about a little bit. Now this one here, quite a simple shot. I like how I shot through this. Um, I did rate it five, but it might change in the future. I don't really know, we'll, we'll see. Now this one here, I'm pretty fucking stoked with this shot. Just love how all the surfers are going down at the same time. They're silhouetted with the sun. And of course, the little... Uh... Oh fuck. What are they called? The little sun rays uh, coming through. Fuck, sun flares. There we go. The little sun flares coming through or the light flares or whatever they're called. I can't remember right now for some reason. Um, I think the whole vibe is kind of nice. It kind of screams Gold Coast. This one, absolutely love this one. Uh, I really like this too. It's just, it's a vibe. I love the colors of this too. Um, so yeah. And I'm hoping you're not hearing the ambulance siren right now. Anyway, uh, this one's pretty, pretty classic type of shot. Um, I love the haziness in there. So yeah, you know, all the all the haze from the water. Obviously, the reflection on the sand itself uh, from the the water being on the sand, um, and just the it's sunrise. So it's sunrise is always a good time to shoot. Oh, 
that light just turned off. Yeah, this one here I really like because there's two subjects in the frame. Um, and of course the reflection from the, from the wet sand and just the colors were quite nice. This one here, very simple. I try to get something minimalistic. Got the stick there and then you got the dog paw over on the right hand bottom corner which is kind of cool because it's like, you know, there's, there's hints of a dog being there without a dog actually being there, which is kind of fun. I think that'd be nice for pet pet owners and stuff like that. Um, so I think this would be a pretty nice print or maybe something in a book or something. This one here now, this one went, I went pretty crazy with the editing. I pretty much washed out the top half of the frame just because it just felt like a really good black and white sort of edit, minimalistic edit because of how uh, long the shadow is to the bird so it was kind of like as soon as I took that photo I might have said in the GoPro that it's uh, probably going to be a pretty minimalistic edit like instantly as soon as I took this the shot so um, I did crop it in a little bit but it's not too bad um, but yeah this would be a pretty sweet print I reckon now this one I was really surprised um, how much I actually like it as soon as I got home and uh, whacked this one of my presets my black and white presets on it it's just very simple and it's like a split down the middle. Um, it's very minimalistic and it's kind of um, abstract, I guess, because you can't really tell what the hell it is. Um, I mean, you can tell that it's water and bubbles, but what's this on, on the right hand side sort of thing. So I don't know, it looked really cool. When I, when I as soon as I whacked that preset on it, I was like, God damn. Here's another one I really like, pretty self-explanatory, leading lines, lots of geometry happening. Um, the sun, of course, the, the starburst that's happening with the sun. I just realized actually right now is that the, the lighthouse is actually just touching one of those pillars. So um, that's kind of annoying me a little bit. Now real quick, you can probably see that in that screen there and that screen now, I guess. I took the shot on Sunday and uh, really love the shot. It's a pretty sick shot. Um, it's just super clean and minimalistic. Um, I actually shot that in the middle of a gender reveal shoot that I was doing. Um, and I'm very happy how that turned out. I'm, I had the settings right and everything, so. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be a, be a print as well. And very quickly, my battery's about to run out. I did do a model shoot the other day with Matt again. I didn't record it, of course, but um, I do want to show you the photos from there because I think they came out really sick and I'm actually kind of annoyed that I didn't make a video of it because uh, it was just good. So uh, here are those photos. I hope you like this video. I hope you like those photos, those ones from the model shoot. And today, make sure you do the things you like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. And uh, my links below to my Instagram, my website, go check them out. Also talk about my website and prints. What I was talking about, I was talking quite a lot about prints. Uh, I do want to set up a print store. Now I'm actually trying to set it up through Printful. And uh, I've currently got a lot of my photos that I really like uploaded there, um, ready to go, sort of ready to buy. And I'm, I am going to put it on my website very soon. But um, before I do that, I do want to buy one of those prints just to see the quality of them. So I'll probably put a lot of my photos up there. Most of them are going to be landscape and stuff. Um, as I said, I'm not a professional landscape photographer. I haven't been doing this for that long, but I've had a lot of people personally come up to me and, uh, and tell me that they would buy my prints if I had them. So why not set it up? It's very free to set up. So uh, we won't talk about that just yet because I still want to make sure everything's good, do a bit of quality control. And if it's pretty, if it works out good, if, it, if the quality is good, um, then I'll, of course I'll let you guys know, uh, keep an eye on my Instagram for that too. So anyway, enough talking, have a good one. See you next time. Bye.